Hi, my name is Gary Hannes, and some of you might know me from my work converting digital cameras for astro imaging and also my DSLR modification service. I have a new modification that I'd like to demonstrate. It's a wireless remote control system for telescopes that have hardwired hand controllers. Uh, my telescope here is a 20-inch Starmaster GoTo telescope. It's about 10 years old. It's made by Rick Singmaster in Kansas. has an excellent drive system. I use it for both visual and astro imaging. Uh, and what I'm controlling with it now is not the original wired hand controller, but instead a wireless remote unit. This hand controller, if you look closely at it, has four directional buttons on top, as the original Sky Tracker hand controller does. And it also has four function buttons at, on the bottom. And they are laid out in the same manner as uh, your original Sky Tracker hand controller. Go to, utility, track, guide, and standby. And all these buttons work the same way as the original uh, Sky Tracker hand controller for the Star Master. Uh, this remote also has an on-off switch and does come with a handy uh, leather carrying case with a clip for your belt or pocket. Another controller that comes with the system, and both controllers are provided, is this larger white hand controller. Uh, it has eight buttons. The top four buttons are the directional buttons. The lower four buttons are the function buttons. Uh, to locate these buttons quickly by feel, there are two feeler beads. One at the top, which is in the middle of the directional buttons, and one at the bottom, which is in the middle of the function buttons and this remote also comes with a carrying case with belt clip. They'll both work at the same time. Uh, some may want to put the smaller black controller and velcro it up near the eyepiece here while keeping the larger white controller uh, down on the observing table or at the bottom of your ladder. Now what this system has done is eliminated the wire that uh, wired hand controller that comes with the Sky Tracker system on the Star Master. The original Star Master came with a black tele uh, telephone cord like this for the hand controller. It plugs in down here and then goes up near your eyepiece. Over time, I've tried different hard wires, including a uh, coiled uh, wire which put some pressure on the, the connector down there. It didn't work out that great. And I've since, I have been using for a number of years a white one because it's easier to see and you don't get caught up in it or, uh, or trip over it. It's always in the way, in my opinion. That's one of the advantages of the wired, of the wireless remote control units. Now, I can show you how the modification kit goes together. It's basically, two parts. The, the one is the transmitters, which you've already seen, and the other is the receiver. And I'll pull that out now. If you look down here, you can see that I have the white receiver box mounted in the corner of the telescope. It's just laying down there on, on the base of the rocker box, and it's connected to the original uh, Sky Tracker hand controller. I'm going to take these out so you have a closer look. I'm going to disconnect the telephone cable. Take the power cord out of the receiver, and these are the components. The original hand sky tracker hand controller and a wireless receiver. Uh, what I can do here is show you that the modification that's made to the original hand controller is just the addition of a DB9 female connector. Now that doesn't affect the operation of this original hand controller in any way. It could be used without the remote control system as you see it here and it'll function as it always has. If you decide to go wireless, it's a matter of connecting it to the receiver box, tightening down the screws, and you can locate these really anywhere in your telescope system. One location that you might want to consider is on the very front of the telescope here with Velcro. And uh, you could see what you would need to run from it is your uh, telephone cord to the original Sky Tracker unit.
Now this could come from inside your rocker box or outside. Let me see where that is. Right there. And we're connected with the DB9 cable to the uh, wireless receiver. This has to be powered. Now what I provide with the, with the modification kit is an RCA cord that goes from your telescope battery and there you're connected. Uh, one reason for this type of connection is that the LED speed buttons are very easy to see. What I found over time is even though the LED uh, indicator lights for drive speeds are not on the hand controller, okay, um, they're not used that much in my opinion but on occasion you might want to see what speed you're in instead of just clicking back and forth from utility and track mode. Uh, I found it, it I, I prefer having the whole system inside my rocker box as I originally showed you down here with the hand controller placed in this location if I want to peek in off the ladder and see the LED lights I can still see them as long as the telescope isn't pointed exactly at Zenith. Now if you walk to the back of the telescope I can show you how that connection to power is made. This is the typical Starmaster battery, 12 volt, and the connectors that come with the uh, Starmaster are these quick disconnects, uh, plastic to conductor. So what I provide with the modification kit is this uh, splitter which you just in insert on your battery connector. It has a uh, has a female connector to connect your telescope or uh, drive system back in and the purpose of this is to provide another point for 12 volt power which is an RCA jack going to the receiver so that comes with the kit and that's how you're set for powering the receiver and it does include a fuse for the receiver as well so that's the system. If you want to learn more details, you can visit my website. Just Google my name, Gary Hannes. Uh, the system will come encoded with one of about 7,000 codes. Uh, that's to avoid interference with other scopes, other wireless systems on the field. Uh, when you send me your hand controller for modification, I can quickly modify it and send it back to you along with the complete system for easy plug and play installation. I'm also set up to do the modification in the field, so if you're attending the same star party as I am, look me up. Uh, I'm usually observing at Cherry Springs Dark Sky Park as, as much as I can, and I also attend the Black Forest Star Party held there every year. The next clip is of my friend Tony. Now, Tony has two Star Master go-to telescopes, a 14 and a half inch and a newer 20 inch. Uh, we installed the wireless remote systems for both his scopes while we were at Cherry Springs. Here's Working Tony. Okay, Gary. Yeah, this is... No, don't make... Tony, what's your last name? Don Angelo. And he's testing out the new harness ground control on his 20-inch uh, Star Master telescope. Completely wireless. Let's see the remote, Tony. <laughs> There's the remote. Look, Ma, no wires. Okay. All eight buttons as the original uh, Star Master wired hand controller and that will give us a demonstration I think you're on M31 press go to scope begins to slew he's gonna press standby because he doesn't want to go to M31 during the day thanks for the demonstration Tony you're welcome Gary okay now Tony's doing a test with the black remote control He's about 30 feet away. Radio frequency, 433 megahertz. And he's going to test it way out here by the Cherry Springs Access Road. There's Tony. And he's controlling the scope. So yes, it does have the range. And he's controlling his 20-inch Star Master with GoTo Sky Tracker that's been modified with the harness ground control wireless system. Beautiful.